Hello everyone and welcome to a uh, story time with Loki as we're back for the first time in a very long time with a day in the life of Loki. Um, it's been a while mainly because I've been, you know, like everyone else, I've been quarantining so I haven't really had much stories to say plus I can't really talk to Zen at the moment just because of my terrible, terrible sleep schedule that conflicts with everything. So if you're wondering where the Zen videos are, the answer is I just can't literally be at the same awake time as Zen. So it's very hard for me to try and do anything with him. Anyway, today's uh, thing I'm going to talk about specifically, it's going to be a story because I want to talk about this because I've been, I wanted to talk about it all over Twitter and I figured I'm not going to save it for Twitter because it's too stupid a story. So anyway, let's get into it. So today's story, um, it's going to be about how, um, what was it? When did it technically start? Let me pull up the receipts here, because just to be sure. So it all started, um, so basically the, the thing that I've been dealing with is I've been dealing with YouTube's thumbnail bot. Um, I bet at this point you're wondering that YouTube has a thumbnail bot? Yeah, it does. Apparently it's a thumbnail bot that specifically, um, targets your thumbnails to see if what you're putting up is, uh, in some way inappropriate for the target audience that they want. Basically, the criteria, as far as I can tell, is, because they've sent me multiple emails about it now, is that your thumbnail cannot have anything, one, overly violent, two, uh, pornographic, or three, is misleading in some way. So, um, maybe this thumbnail here that you see here. I don't know if this, this will consider the thumbnail of it. I'm really interested to see what YouTube is, because I'm going to let this uh, YouTube video auto-generate what I think, what it thinks the thumbnail should be, and I'm going to be very interested in what it picks. But anyway, it all started, my all, my troubles really started when um, a video that was released on July 20th, that was when it was published. Um, I mean, I hope that was when it was actually published. Yes, it is. Okay, so... So, for those of you who don't know my specific upload schedule is that I release a video one in the morning and then one later on when after I've eaten and I'm waking up. Um, so on July 20th, I did a video that was about uh, Fake Grand Order. This is going to be common, about what you're going to hear. Um, it was about, you know, cheering on Team Desert Beauty, which is a team that is uh, Sherzade and uh, Nidocris. So I use this as the original thumbnail, which you can find right here. So this was the thumbnail here. So uh, as you can see here, Nido is perfectly okay. Everything's fine. She's in her swimsuit. She's got her bikini on. Sherzade, this is actually how the character is designed in Fate. So this is how she looks. But this was the thumbnail. Um, perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned. I've had worse thumbnails in the past, and I think that they're literally not doing anything that's like, like. <laughs> Uh, sexy in nature, they're just kind of talking to each other, sitting down. So I figured that's good enough to put up. And I had, by the way, before this video went up, I had never been targeted by this bot. And at one point, I put up some real crazy fake Grand Order stuff. So I go to bed, I put up the video, I wake up, the thumbnail is missing. Um... And then I go, what? And so I think like, oh, maybe the artist specifically asked to take this down. So I ended up, um, you know, I figured, you know, that even though I credited them at the time in the, in the video thing, that was like, oh, maybe they didn't like the fact that I used their art, I'll use something else. Uh, and then the th a thumbnail I replaced it with was, I forgot to include it, but I'll put it up right here. Um, this right here. Nope, that makes it seem real bad. This is specifically from the CE from the game that you get in Summer 3, where it's kind of like Naito and um, Sherazade dancing. It's not the greatest of quality just because, like, this is the best I could do at specific time. So I put that up. This gets taken down, and at this point I get an email from YouTube saying, we've taken it down. And at this point the bot tells me specifically, the bot may be acting dumb because of all the co- uh, the- the- all the corona stuff our bot might be acting funky and we don't know how to fix it so if there's anything wrong just like email us and we'll fix it um so 
they take down my thumbnail, I send them an email, everything's good, everything's peachy. I, for a brief minute, I'm thinking like, why? Why are they targeting specifically Naito and Shazade so much? Um, I th- I'm thinking, is, is it because it's two women? Is it because like, the only thing that in my mind is the reason why they would take it down is one, either it's because there's two women on it, or two, they were also the only women of color that were also on the uh, thumbnail. It turns out, no, the bot is just very stupid, and it just targeted them for no reason. I don't understand why this one got targeted. I never got a good response. So here's something that you probably do know about YouTube. YouTube is the shittiest company in the world when it comes to actually giving you feedback. They told me, just vaguely, this might be pornographic, this might be violent, and this might be misleading. So I sent them my appeal and I said, it's none of these things. It's two characters dancing. And they quickly reappealed it, but they never told me, um... They never sent me a sorry. They never sent me anything. All I did was like unplugged it, unplugged it, and then they're like, "Okay, you're good to go." Let me go back here. So once again, this is not okay. This is okay. Okay. So now remember when I said how this is not okay? Well, this is. Hold on to this one. So now the next fake grand order video, I release on July 21st. It has Summer Nier on the front because it's talking about the contest of beauty, and she's one of the people that are in it. So I'm like, okay, time to release another thumbnail. This time with Summer Nero on it, and I hope everything goes good. I used I used a thumbnail, well, uh, Mr. Eat Your Butt, uh, Matt Booty. He made me a thumbnail using Summer Nero art, so I guess her swimsuit is okay. So this, this thumbnail goes up. Now, if you want to talk about, see, these two having a good time. This one is clearly made in some way to have some version of, like... It's not actually pornographic. It's more like a Playboy style of, like, ah, ha, ha, but with clothes on. So it's actually more like Maxim Magazine. So there's nothing wrong with it, really, in my eyes. Even though there's a clear boob window, like, there's some skin you showed here. I got no issues. I had zero issues with this specific thumbnail. And I said, okay, I guess maybe the bot really likes Nero. Perfect. So I I figure I'm safe. The next day, July 22nd, right before I go to bed, I release one where you have to... So to explain the specific Freight Grand Order video, actually I'm just going to show you the thumbnail and then I'm going to show... So this is the original thumbnail art for that specific video. This is it. So this is the character Artemis. This is her in-game art. This is how the woman looks. This is her with the most clothes ever. And when I say that, I'm not freaking kidding around. You cannot find fan art with this woman showing less cleavage than this. I tried. Oh, trust me, I tried. The, even the one that I eventually ended up putting up technically isn't showing her boobs. So it's technically not even trying to hide it or anything. Um, and if you want to talk about the giant titty mounted in the background, well, this is specifically um, Valley Artemis. It's a valley inspired by her boobs. That's the best way I can kind of explain it. The summer event is very silly. There's no real rhyme or reason for it. So once again, let's look at the criteria here. Uh, nope. Okay, so this amount of boob, where you can see like clearly there's a window, something going on here, very suggestive if you ask me. Uh, here, not really suggestive in any way. This woman is literally just staring at you, not really wanting anything from you. This gets taken down, I wake up, and I immediately go, I'm appealing this and putting this right back up, because this woman is literally not, is not pornographic. You could probably jack it off to this, but you would get nowhere, because you can't even see anything. There's nothing here, look. You have to, like, make a lot of, I'm gonna do an extreme close-up. Alright, wait, nope, that's a future image in the background. Nope. Come on. Man, even this doesn't want to listen to me on this. Looks like I can zoom in. Oh, well. Put your face up to the monitor. Look at her. You can't see anything. There are There is literally ten times more risque fate art than of this one. So, okay. I fight it, and I fight it a lot. I think I go back and forth with the email every single time telling... Uh, sending an appeal going eventually by the end of it I think I'm literally putting in caps lock Artemis is just standing there she's not doing anything there's nothing pornographic about this it's just a dress that's how I feel about it so I'm like okay 
you know what? Because I'm not getting really any appeal on it, maybe it's not Artemis. Maybe it's not her. Maybe she's not the problem. Maybe the problem is the giant titty mountain in the background. So, let's move on to the next thumbnail. Okay, so here is where I thought, well, I'm going to try and hide the titty mountain in the background. But I'm also going to put in a more risque outfit of Artemis. I don't know why I said this in my mind. It felt like a pretty good idea at the time, to be honest. And I felt like because the bear was there, it, he was hiding the nipple. So it was perfectly fine. This gets denied really badly. So back to square one. Um, and what what in my brain, excellent. at this point, it is now midnight. It is midnight. I have been ha I've had to... I've been forced to cancel the stream I wanted to do that night because of the older people in my house that wanted to watch a loud-ass Christmas movie. So I'm already not in the greatest of moods, and now I'm fighting a YouTube bot over whether or not Artemis is showing the right amount of titty in the cover art for it, the thumbnail. Uh, so then I decide, screw it, I'm going to send another one. <laughs> I, <laughs> I decide to say fuck it and just put three different Artemises completely hiding the titty mountain in the background, thinking I'm going to be safe here. Look at all this, like, technically cleavage that is being hid. I'm so smart about this. This gets the fat denial pretty quickly. And then I go, okay, screw it. I'm going to change the titty mountain. Now Artemis is in the snow. Why is it in the snow? I don't know what to tell you. If you ever wonder why there's snow in some of the background art of thumbnails I use, it's because I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing for a thumbnail. I'm not a professional, like, thumbnail artist. I'm just a dude who sometimes makes funny videos. And sometimes it's debatable if it's funny. Okay, so now I have Artemis. She's in the cold. No titty mountain. I figure, okay, we're good. And then finally I get a denial of this one. I think it takes the bot two hours for them to go... No, I think the boobs are still too much. And then at this point, again, I am appealing every single time, trying to get some form of a response. If they had just told me from the start, this girl's dress is too much. And I would still say, you gotta be out of your mind. This is literally just in-game character art. I don't know what to tell you. You guys have um, stuff from Aniplex with her on it. You have other YouTube videos with her on it. I don't know what you want from me. So anyway, at this point, I'm like, screw it. I need to find some art that will be perfectly okay. Here it is. <laughs> um, this is from the Rio art. So I, I choose the big one. Notice how I said I could. this is literally the only piece of art I could find. And just to have one final dig at the stupid-ass YouTube bot that I've had to deal with it, the underneath it says YouTube bot hates Artemis' chest. And it's 100% true. It does not like her chest. This hides her chest, so it's perfectly fine. Titty Mountain made it to the ending. So I'm going to consider that a perfectly reasonable thing, I guess. Uh, this right here is the old one. So that's basically what I dealt with all yesterday. And this took up until I went to bed putting this going... I'm pretty sure the bot might not like the fact that I put YouTube bot hates Artemis' chest. If I thought I could get away with putting Artemis' titties, I would have 100% put titties. Um, that's the end of it, basically. So this got perfectly okay, and then later on I released a, um, a thumbnail with this as the art. And that got perfectly okay. I hid the fact that, you know... Well, let me show you the full art. I wanted to really... At this point, you could tell, like, at some point, I really wanted to test the stupid-ass bots. Uh, how far it will go. Um, let me show you the original art before I decided to hold back on it. There it is. Yeah, so... <laughs> originally, this is how this art looked like. I decided against the butt shot. As much as I love the butt of... Um, St. Martha over here. I accidentally made the music go weird, but it's fine. Um, and since then, I haven't really had much issue. So, I that was basically I wanted to talk about just because it was like, this is so infuriating, man. This is the first time I've ever had to deal with this stupid bot, and I really don't know the rules. Like, what? Not okay. Okay. Not okay. Okay. No. Okay. So it's like, okay, so I can show boob, but it has to be mostly covered up. It just doesn't make any sense to me. 
Like, <laughs> none of it makes sense, and it really would suck if I, I wish I had some kind of, um, way to talk to whoever, whatever dumbass YouTube representative that I have to for this, uh, cause it'd be very nice. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. That was the day of my life. It was a very dumb day. It was a day full of anger, uh, in general, that ended up being okay now that everything's fine. I haven't really had to deal with the bot. Um, let's see. Hey, when Summer 3 comes around and I'm gonna have to put up Summer BB, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but it's gonna have to work out. So, <sighs> that's the end of today's story, everyone. I hope you liked it. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and I don't know how much you would enjoy solo videos of it. But, hey, if you liked it, please leave a like. If not, it's fine. I just wanted to leave this up because I needed to get this stupid thing off my chest. Especially, I can't believe that the stupid bot that I only have to deal with because of fucking Corona does not like boobs in any set of way. And I would understand it if it was more pornographic, but you can't check off to this. I mean, you could try. Actually, you probably could for this one. This, no way. Too wholesome. Like, what are you doing here? You have to be, like, what? 13? To be okay with this? I don't know. This? Come on, man. She's just standing there. That's just awkward. Find better art. This, I would understand. This, no. This, yeah, no. This, no, of course not. Woofers are wholesome. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next thing I make for whatever. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next story. Whatever it might be. Who knows when it will be. Peace!